Guys, this political race for president is just getting more comical every single day. You know, we're, we're screwed either way, more or less. But I don't even know what's going to happen. I, I mean, none of us know what's going to happen. It's just so crazy. Um, Gary Johnson, you know, I, I was never, I've never been a third party uh, supporter. And this year, you know, with both Trump and Hillary in the race, I was like, hey, I will entertain the thought of helping, you know, of uh, supporting Gary Johnson. And then he just came out of the woodwork as a complete dipshit. Um, you know, I'm a very pro Second Amendment individual, pro gun. And him and his running mate are just complete dipshits. They they don't know anything. Um, <laughs> I I can't support a guy who knows nothing about the Constitution, knows nothing about real politics, um, doesn't know current events at that. Um, I'm not talking about the the Syrian question from CNN or whatever, but, uh, you know, it's just crazy. And then, you know, Donald Trump, he's had his ups and downs. He's getting better, I believe. And then you have Hillary Clinton, who the other day calls 50% of Donald Trump supporters deplorables, a bucket of, or a basket of deplorables, meaning racist, white supremacists, you know, sexist individuals. And it's like, really? You want to try to persuade Trump supporters to vote for you by saying that? That is the most idiotic thing I've ever heard. And then the next day, oh, I apologize for it. No. And I'm about to, I'd be willing to bet that uh, the way the previous, uh, the previous racists have been, 50% uh, of her supporters are deportables, meaning they're illegal or they don't exist. Uh, but I digress. And, and, and you know, during the 9 11 memorial yesterday, she just up and got sick. Um, they said she suffered from heat exhaustion. But as soon as I came across the, the news that she had suffered from heat exhaustion, I'm like, it's like 75 degrees here in Kansas. So I looked up temp in New York, in New York City, and it was in the 70s also. Uh, so the report from the area was it was a uh, mere 77 degrees unless you're in a, a sauna suit and you're running like crazy how are you going to just stand there and suffer from heat exhaustion you know she was being held up by two or three uh, secret service individuals and also leaning against a concrete post to keep her you know from falling down and then she's stumbling into a black van that is not a Secret Service uh, vehicle, so it's kind of funny that happens. And then you know, two or three later hours later, she walks out of uh, her skanky ass daughter Chelsea Clinton's uh, apartment in New York City, and she's all happy. She's just perfect, 100%. And I'm sitting there thinking, how is that? You, I work in the medical field. When somebody suffers from a legitimate, legitimate heat exhaustion. They don't just walk out an hour or two later, all giddy, like like she did. Um, you know, <laughs> and, and now there's a conspiracy saying that there's a stunt devil uh, imitating her. You know, the, the person that walked out of uh, Chelsea's apartment was not Hillary Clinton. It was a stunt double. I wish they had these big old blue glasses on that you couldn't see your eyes. So, I mean, there's people out there who imitate uh, famous people all the time. You know, there's a Donald Trump double out there uh, that looks very similar to Donald Trump and, and, and Bush and Sarah Palin and all those. And so I don't see it not being possible. But for God's sakes, man, like, why can't she just come out and say, hey, guys, I'm not feeling good. Uh, I've got this nasty cough. Uh, I'm going to try to get to the campaign trail, but if I don't make it to an event or whatever it be, I'm just going to have to set it out. I can't go on, you know, not getting treated for this. I, I know she was treated, you know, she was diagnosed with pneumonia, but then now we have these Democratic politicians who are in support of Hillary Clinton saying, oh, well, I just got done, I just got over done over with uh, my own pneumonia. Yeah, I, I just, in the middle of summer, had pneumonia, 
and I, I'm doing much better now to, you know, kind of curb for awkwardness. Just be honest. Quit making lies. Why do, you, why do you have to lie about being sick? It makes, I mean, if you're trying to run for president, you can't say that President Obama or Bush or anybody before in these, you know, 200 years, 200 some odd years that we've been a nation has never been sick. Okay? Don't have to lie about it. And I know there's been presidents before that have hidden their, their disabilities. I mean, wasn't it Roosevelt that was handicapped, sat in a wheelchair? And, you know, and uh, was it JFK that had back problems? Why, I mean, they, they didn't come out right out then, but why, why do you have to lie about it? Just be straight up with the country you're wanting to lead. The country will, you know, appreciate it more. You're an idiot if you don't just come out and say, hey, I'm not feeling good. Can't, can't come to work today, right? If you're really not feeling good, don't try to push through it and kill yourself. I don't know what, what we're going to be working with here in the next couple of months, guys. I mean, I know what we got working with now, but lies and disabilities they're working with themselves, just let us know. Makes it all better. See you later.